Friends was also a massive success in the UK, where it dominated the British pop charts with three top 10 hits. When we got over to the UK, and um, we just did this massive tour, and like they kept adding on dates and kept adding on dates and adding on dates, and then at the end of the tour, we sold out Wembley Arena. We cried on stage and we just saw that audience and we, we were just like, to feel that we have actually had that kind of an acceptance. I thought they had superstardom written all over them. They were a unique act. Sex appeal and charisma, I thought they had the whole package. You begin to see a profile of where the group is going. And, uh, you know, what was happening internationally and what was happening in the United States, it all looked like they were going to another level. They were going from being stars to superstars. Not surprisingly, the budding superstars began to look closely at their bank accounts. I'm not making any money from this. From touring, you know, 365 days a year, but not one royalty, nothing. And I started feeling like we were being taken advantage of. I was being taken advantage of. And no amount of fame or popularity can smooth that over. Dick, you know, I'm trying to buy a house here. Uh, Y'all want to buy houses now. Y'all dancing on Soul Train for free yesterday. We didn't have m enough money to buy cars. We were leasing a car through Dick Griffey's leasing agent. So see, we didn't own nothing. I just have real demented ideas about what's out there. Howard Hewitt told me one time, man, I ain't getting a royalty check. I said, Howard, well, I just gave you a million dollar advance. What do you mean you ain't getting no royalties? I mean, advance means royalties in advance. You know, you have to recoup what you received in the cost of your records. The tension also spread to the group itself. Howard had a talk with Jody and myself, and he told us, well, I'm the leader of the group. And Jody and I looked at him and said, well, Excuse me, leader of the group? There's no leader to the group. It started to get really fatiguing to not be respected and to be told that, you know, you're just a dancer and you can be replaced. And it wasn't really healthy because I don't think that anyone should ever be in a situation where um, they get conditioned that they're not of value. We're young, stupid, full of ourselves, <laughs> you know? And that's when we needed somebody else in that higher position to refocus us. But we didn't have anybody like that. I think the guys wanted to have a certain control over me. The more I pushed back, the more tense things got. 